Hi, this is Manos Bulakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute. It is a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Tarek Helmi from St. Louis University, who is going to present case 55 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. Thank you, Manos. Um, we're going to talk about um, uh, a complex uh, situation where uh, the CTO is uh, right at the bifurcation and uh, at the proximal cap is right at a bifurcation point uh, with very little purchase on the occluded vessel and a large uh, side branch, in this case, a large diagonal, uh, that will uh, create the path of least resistance for the wire to go through, uh, thus uh, uh, creating a significant challenge to actually penetrate the proximal cap of the occluded LAD. As you can see here, this is uh, an ario caudal view of the uh, occluded LED, a large branch and diagonal uh, takes off, and you can see a very short uh, stump of the LED there. This is in a different projection. This is in a cranial projection. You can see clearly here that the LED is occluded in the proximal segment with significant calcification with a not a lot of cap or a stump to allow purchase of the wire. Retrograde injection from the RCA showed collateral filling of the distal LED, which appears to be a large vessel supplying a large amount of myocardium all the way down to the apex without significant disease distally, which was the encouraging factor here. Attempts to wire the LED uh, initially were unsuccessful, again, because of poor purchase on the LED and prolapse of the wire in the large side branch. At this point, a uh, run-through wire was advanced into the diagonal uh, artery and a twin pass catheter was advanced over that wire in the diagonal. Um, the proximal uh, opening of the twin pass was positioned at the origin of the LED occlusion, and this allowed us to have an anchoring factor uh, with the twin pass there, allowed us to uh, use a stiff wire, in this case a confidence of port 12, to actually penetrate the proximal cap of the uh, occlusion of the LED, despite the fact that there was very little purchase in terms of uh, proximal stump in the LED. And you can see here, uh, with very uh, little manipulation and due to the support provided to us by the twin pass catheter, the confidence of port 12 uh, could penetrate the proximal cap and is now uh, traversing into the distal vessel, which appears to be fairly healthy. This was confirmed by uh, anti-grade and retrograde injection, uh, ensuring that we are in the true lumen before advancing the wire further since it was a stiff wire. And at this point in time, uh, the twin pass catheter was uh, removed and now we have purchase on the LAD uh, occluded vessel and a large diagonal branch. Ballooning of the LAD was performed with reestablishment of flow. Now we're faced with the uh, dilemma of managing a bifurcation uh, lesion at a proximal LED and a large diagonal. The choice strategy here was to perform a crush uh, stenting technique uh, where the diagonal stent was deployed, and the diagonal uh, balloon and wire were removed after ensuring no further dissection in the diagonal, and then the LED stent was deployed, crushing the diagonal stent, recrossing of the diagonal wire, and finishing with a kissing balloons was performed with excellent angiographic results at the end, and to three flow in both branches. Perfect, so that's an excellent case. I think it demonstrates several things. One is that when you have a bifurcation on the proximal cap, the twin pass can help you direct there. Another option, I don't know your thoughts about using something like a venture who can point you down, or a super cross that has a preformed uh, shape of the microcatheter. The one challenge with the venture is that uh, although you can deviate the tip, uh, you actually have to twist it and torque it to direct it in the uh, uh, appropriate direction. And sometimes if you're doing this in a diseased vessel or in a smaller vessel, you can actually injure the vessel. Um, the, the twin pass allows you a flexibility of man maneuvering wires only, but also allows you the, the effect of the anchoring uh, uh, in the side branch and giving you a lot of uh, back support uh, to penetrate the proximal cap. Excellent, and I agree. And the other component, as you mentioned, is that you do have a wire into the side branch protecting it for any other problems. Of note, there is a new twin pass called a twin pass torque that's currently uh, becoming available, and that can have more torqueability like the Crusade to direct you to those side branches. So thanks again for a wonderful case. Thank you very much.